All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have another TTM return, and this week we got three 8x10s back. First one is from Walpole, Massachusetts. Uh, another 8x10 we got back from Glen Allen, Virginia. And the third 8x10 is from South Webster, Ohio. Now, these should be three former Pittsburgh Pirate players, all who won rings in the 1971 World Series. So just take them one at a time here and open it up and see what we can find out. Yep, first one, yeah, from Massachusetts. It's Richie Hebner in a classic Arco gas station photograph. Now, I sent him two. I asked him to keep one if he wanted to keep it, but it looks like he returned both. Let's see if he signed both. Richie Hibner, Richie Hibner, wow. Cool, cool. Very cool. Hibner uh, started off with the Pirates. He played for about 18 years in the major leagues. Um, maybe about 200 home runs. He played for the Pirates and for the Phillies. And <laughs> Look at this, you could even see the tape. Let's see the tape where I had it hanging in my room when I was a kid. That's classic. Yeah, I remember my uh, cousin. She was uh, she was madly in love with Hebner. Hebner was big with the with the lady crowd in Pittsburgh. But yeah, he had about 200 home runs. He, again, he won a uh, World Series ring in 1971. Played third base. Uh, the Pirates traded him to the Phillies, and I think he went to the Cubs, where he finished up his career. But um, yeah, Richie Hebner. They called him the Grave Digger because he dug graves in the off season. All right. Number two, this is from uh, Glen Allen, Virginia again. I think I know who this is, and it should be another Arco photograph. Yes, Gene Alley, former uh, Pirate shortstop in the 60s and 70s. He Again, he won a World Series ring in 1971. I'll show you the back. This, this kind of cool photographs have their stats on the back. Uh, came out in 1971, and if you filled up your tank, you got a set of uh, pirate photographs. So, yeah, Gene Alley. He, you know, he's never going to make the Hall of Fame or anything, but he was a very, very good defensive player. In fact, he set the Major League record, I think, in 1966 or 67, along with Bill Mazeroski at second base, for most double plays. I think they turned... Uh, over 200 double plays that season. Yeah, he played for 11 years, all with Pirates. Uh, two All-Star games, two Gold Gloves. Uh, very dependable. He hurt his shoulder, and that that was long before, you know, uh, shoulder surgery, elbow surgery, and that just kind of ended his career uh, in the early 70s. So Richie Hebner, Gene Alley, and number three. South Webster, Ohio, and I believe I know who this is. This is a good one. Yes. Got his business card up there. And he signed it exactly how the facsimile uh, uh, autograph was on this photo. Al Scoop Oliver, and he signed it, Al Scoop Oliver. Now, most people know uh, Al Oliver as an outfielder, but he came up as a first baseman. But, of course, with the Pirates, with uh, – Bob Robertson there in the early 70s, and then they moved Stargell there uh, in the mid-70s. So the, Oliver had to move to the outfield. He played center field and uh, uh, played outfield during the uh, World Series year. He got, a, he got a World Series ring in 1971. But, but this guy, Al Oliver, now that Harold Baines made the Hall of Fame, I'm not going to be surprised at all if Al Oliver makes it. Al Oliver is probably a better player overall than Harold Baines. Oliver was a very good defensive player. Baines was just a DH, and their stats are, are very similar. Oliver played for 18 years, Pirates, Rangers, and Expos. He had about 2,740 hits, hit 303 lifetime, over 500 doubles, 1,300 RBIs, 1,200 runs. It's just, uh, you know, he gets my vote for the Hall of Fame. I think seven All-Star games. He won a batting title. You know, Oliver's along. He's he's in the uh, on the cusp with the Dale Murphys of the world, the Steve Garveys of the world. Those guys. Now that, uh, especially now that Harold Baines made the Hall of Fame this year, you've got to consider 
guys like Oliver and Murphy and Garvey and, um, and guys like that who had great stats, great careers, but for whatever reason over the last 20 years or so have just not uh, received enough Hall of Fame votes. But, but again, as we've talked about over and over, the Baines inclusion induction changes everything. And I hope uh, for, for Scoop's uh, benefit that he makes the Hall of Fame. He lives over in uh, Portsmouth, Ohio, and he's a minister now. Uh, so here we go. Let's recap. Owl Scoop Oliver, Gene Alley, and Richie Hebner. So I appreciate you guys watching. Again, uh, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you'll be alert to all my videos. I've got some more uh, autographs coming in through the mail. I like to send you out cards and pictures, photographs, um, especially with old pirates. But I'm, uh, I've got them out just about everybody now. So stay tuned. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.